today's video is all about how to repair your internet connection basically your network settings um, we have had a lot of kind of like um, reports of after the new upgrade to certain versions of Windows 10 that the internet stopped working etc also it could be because of some certain settings within maybe you went into a corporate office and they push some settings onto your computer or you change something and it just didn't work so we're gonna show you how to do it the automatic way and also the manual way and in the end it's gonna be a complete reset of all your network settings that brings you back okay as you can see over here ours is showing this little yellow triangle um, orange triangle or yellow triangle doesn't seem to work so we're not gonna get any internet activity on this computer we have artificially created this solution so we obviously know what the problem is but we're gonna show you certain techniques that you can use if you don't know what the problem is and you're getting either a red X or this yellow triangle the first thing obviously the easy option is troubleshoot problems that will go through that and it should look for certain issues and it will probably find something it'll say try these repairs as administrator now as you can see sometimes it will fix it which is great let's assume it did not fix it okay there is another automatic way which is go there go to settings go to network click actually not click just scroll down and this is where if the troubleshooter didn't work this is a complete reset but it's not a hundred percent reset because we've found in the past that we've had to use manual methods as well so reset now what that does it'll reset most or what it should be doing is all of the settings and it'll say you'll be signed out in five minutes which gives you time to close your programs etc save your work what we're gonna do is just stop that and automatically restart the computer and it'll be back okay okay now after a reset it should hopefully be working all good okay let's assume it still is causing problems okay we're gonna show you the manual method now so once you're actually over here, you type in PowerShell, run it as administrator, okay, and what you're going to need to do is type in ipconfig-flushdns. There's going to be a number of commands that you're going to have to run, okay. The next command you need to run is nbt stat dash r run that okay then we're gonna run the same command again which is nbt stat with a two r's rather than one r dash r r run that okay so we've got that out of the way then it's N-E-T-S-H-I-N-T-I-P and then it's reset all. Now what that does, it'll go through as much as possible. As you can see over here, there is an access denied for one little part. It asks you to restart your computer. Okay do restart your computer once you come back okay we still need to run a few more commands and then restart again okay and we're just for simplicity's sake we're just gonna run the commands now okay 
So N-E-T-S-H, that's the next one. Then it's I-N-T, I-P-V-4, reset. So you're basically resetting all your IPv4 things, the same thing with 6. Click reset, it's asking you to restart the computer. And the final one that we found seems to work if you actually have done something with your network and you've kind of like messed up routes, etc., and all that stuff. This is the one that seems to kind of like solve it. Net sh. Okay, then it's winsock. Okay, winsock, and then reset. And then run this. Okay, it asks you to restart your computer, so obviously you would restart your computer. Okay, restart. And after a restart, with a little bit of luck, Hopefully, you've got your internet access, you can access websites, access corporate settings, etc. You might need to, because after all this is done, okay, if you have any specific IP settings that are given by your corporate environment, etc., you might need to come over here and basically click on that, okay. And go to properties. Let's assume your company has a specific static IP address with a DNS server that you need to enter in. You might need to do this after these things have been done because it completely wipes what has been previously set up and it resets it all back to almost factory state. What you will notice, we ran the manual commands. Sometimes we have found run the manual commands and then once again go back to settings, click on the network, and then run that network reset thing. You might need to do manual once, this maybe twice, or manual twice. This may be once or twice. You get what I mean. It's a little bit sometimes funny. Sometimes doesn't work initially. But with a combination of doing it, resetting your computer a number of times, after all these manual versions have been done, and also this reset, things generally we've found come back to original status. So hopefully this video shall show you how to solve your network problems if it all completely does not work and you're literally stuck with a red X or a yellow triangle and you've tried the troubleshooter and nothing works. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.